My background is an art director in New York City. I've worked at People Magazine, Good Housekeeping, and GQ. And my challenge was to incorporate that history of techniques in graphic design with a very historic medium of painted stained glass. My name is Joseph Cavalieri. I'm an artist that works with stained glass. The works that I'm showing in the Ivy Brown Gallery, I'm focusing on New York City architecture and New York City personalities. All of my designs start as a pencil sketch. Once I decide on a sketch I like, I'll scan and I'll redraw them on my computer. And I'll make many adjustments to that. I basically have the concept very clear, but I have to make it visually appealing. And a lot of times I'll work with layering, I'll add a different border, and I'll do a bunch of different designs before I find one that I really love. After I finish making the digital image, I'll print it out and hang it on the wall. I really like to live with it for a few days. I'll pass by it, I'll see it new, and I'll decide on what colors I might want to use. Once I'm finished with that digital file, I'll send it to my screen printer and they'll send me back this silk screen that I can use to make prints on top of the glass using enamel paints. Making the Helen Hayes piece, I had to fire the glass three times in the kiln. The first print was using the silk screen, using black enamel, and I fired that in the kiln. Then I actually made a stencil. Once the contact paper is down, you cut out the shape by hand using the X-Acto knife. You lift up the area that you want to expose to the paint, then you apply the paint on top of that area. Back before computers, I was a paste-up artist for different magazines and book publishing. So we would have to work with an X-Acto knife all day long. These hands are really strong and I'm able to do that process fairly quickly. Then I sprayed yellow using an atomizer. That's basically two metal pipes put together and you blow through it and it actually pulls the liquid up and sprays it just like spray paint and fire that in the kiln. And the third step was to cut another stencil and sprayed blue using the atomizer and fired that the third time in the kiln. I really love this photograph of Helen Hayes as Victoria Regina, which was done in 1935 here in New York. I photographed the front cornice of a building down on Wall Street and replicated it for the border of the piece. It felt like it was just as elaborate and matched perfectly with this image. So I researched her and learned a lot about her background and I felt like she was into many things at the same time. So I decided on changing Helen Hayes into an octopus lady Incorporating a hand-drawn octopus with a photograph just made the piece feel less like a portrait and more like a story behind this amazing woman. I need to trim the edges of the glass so they'll fit nicely into a metal frame. I add LED lights within the frame and just hang it on the wall and it's finished. It's a great alternative to hanging the artwork in a window and having natural light coming through because you can turn it on at night and get a really good art fix with the light coming through the glass and glowing.